This is our 2013 TC teardrop. It's made in Wausau, Wisconsin. Uh, my wife and I have been looking for one for a while. Uh, it's the size we wanted. It's a five by nine. And as a, a bonus that we weren't counting on getting, the normal TC teardrops uh, come out just to the, the toolbox. This one was built to carry a, a small ATV and uh, and has this added space, which we're gonna use for a, a bike rack. We're gonna move that spare tire to a different mounting location on the trailer. And, uh, and then we'll have that for a bike rack. One of the things that we want to change with it is it, it, it sits fairly low. Uh, I've got the unit level, uh, level right now. And when I set up the, uh, the galley in the back, it, uh, it is, uh, not of a height uh, where I can get comfortably underneath it. I'm 5'9", I'm and I, I strike my head on this upper corner here. Uh, and we also want to go to some campgrounds that are more uh, remote, especially uh, when I take it out west elk hunting. And so we're going to address the height issue right away. And what we're going to do, what I'm going to do to start is install from Dexter Axle. This uh, lift kit. I ordered this from E Trailer. It was a little cheaper than than from Dexter Axle straight from it. But it's basically these spacers that I'm going to place underneath on the on the axles. And uh, we're going to measure the height before and after, and we're going to note that. So let's say I've got the unit level. My driveway does have some pitch, uh, but it'll be parked in the same location when I have it on. So maybe we'll do behind the wheel well here. And uh, we got about 12 and a half inches to the bottom of the frame. Of course, the axle hangs below that. And so we'll see what it looks like after we put this, uh, after this kit on. So uh, I'm gonna start on it tonight. Probably won't have enough time before dark here and before I gotta um, turn in for the night to get it completely done. But uh, by the end of the night, tomorrow night should have it done. I'll try to tune in along the way and show you the difference. All right, it's the next evening here. I ran out of time last night before it got dark. Uh, but uh, I just got done dropping the axle here and it's, uh, they're three quarter inch bolts. Uh, they were on there firm. I needed a, a heavy impact um, and wrench to get them off. And then they were, they were kind of friction uh, stuck in there yet. So a couple of wraps with a rubber mallet and I supported the other end on a jack temporarily so I, I loosened up that end and had it sitting on a jack and then I had this end with one, a single bolt through uh, holding it up uh, a couple of wraps out here on the hub and, and she dropped down real nice and easy and so now we'll get out the uh, the lift kit and put it on there and uh, and I'll show you how that goes so here's what you get in the Dexter number nine uh, suspension lift kit or torsion axle. That's what I, sh I should have mentioned earlier. This is a Dexter number nine torsion axle. And uh, so it, it has these two spacers, one for each, each side, four bolts and six washers. And why six and not eight? It's because this bottom one uh, is slotted. And so it needs a washer top and bottom. So that's gonna sit like that that'll marry up and needs a washer on top because that's an oblong hole where the horizontal holes are are just round and so that'll fit right up in there. So I think the best thing here, because uh, I dropped the axle completely off, down, is I'm gonna loosely fit the, in this configuration, because I picture it easier to lift and then slide the, uh, the bolts through like pins into the holes here and once I've got it all loosely fit, dry fit, then I'll, uh, I'll put it up. One of the things that they uh, recommend is actually cleaning uh, this prior to, uh, but uh, I've got such little corrosion here um, that it really doesn't, uh, it really doesn't require it. Uh, it's ready to, ready to install. This uh, camper obviously wasn't used very much. Uh, so, uh, so it's ready to go. So we'll see how it goes. 
Okay, I've got the uh, other side uh, dry fitted on. And uh, so this plate just, I'm holding the, so this washer bolt. And these washers have an orientation too. You know, the curved side up and this got kind of a, a flatter side and it goes down. Now these nuts uh, are unique. They've got that knurling there and that indicates uh, the, the, this end of the, the threads is a, a locking uh, side. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with this side onto the nut uh, with that knurling on the, on the outside or downward side in this case. And it allows you to get it started. So you know you're orientated and you don't have a cross threaded. But then what it also allows you to do is to tighten it. Um, you have to use a wrench to tighten them any farther, you know, even to uh, you know, to lock it down the, the remainder of the threads. Or to thread it down the remainder of the threads. But then it, it's an anti-loosening uh, device. And so it's, uh, uh, it's locked on there once it's on there. So I'm just dry fitting these in. I've got the other side dry fitted already. And uh, uh, I'm just using a, a three quarter inch uh, on a half inch drive a socket and a um, box end wrench to uh, to get it started and dry fit and just loose. And then I'll uh, I'll come back and hit it with the impact once I've got it all up in and fitted. Okay, as you can see, uh, I've got it lifted up into place and uh, what I did is I uh, got that plate dry fitted and I shouldn't say I keep saying dry fitted I mean loosely fitted uh, locking nuts uh, not all the way down on the uh, on the vertical bolts and now the horizontal ones I got the other side of the axle up on the jack stand and I got out the jack stand over here to hold it up there and when I helped when I picked up the axle I mean it's it's a number nine so it's a light axle I picked it up and I was just able to slide the bolts through. And so uh, I, the jack stand is not even supporting it. Of course, I was gonna set it on there. And so now I can uh, I can fit the nuts on there on the opposite side here, nuts and washers. And then these are just loosely fitted for the moment. Okay, got the axle completely Fit it on and the bolts all locked down. Um, the spec is you to take those uh, uh, those nuts to 80 to 100 pounds of torque. And so I got them right, right up at the top there at 100. Try getting the tires underneath here. I raised it up a little bit farther. Uh, I don't know if I got enough room to get the tire in there. That uh, torsion axle relaxes a little bit while you don't have weight on it. So I'll try to get the tires on there now. Okay, I'm on the opposite side again from where I was, and I just learned something here. So it was really easy to lift this axle up. So I had it sitting on the jack stand, and of course it was sitting just below where it needed to be. And so I, I uh, just put my left hand here, lifted up, and was able with my right hand to slide those bolts through. But then it, it wanted to relax down, and uh, this is uh, it, it is conical in shape, and so I was able to just jam this this little uh, jack stand underneath in there. And then that held it up to the point where these are nice and loose. And so I know everything is in line. And I can get these all in line. So it's really, uh, it's you know, it's being held in place by this. And I can make sure that I've got it completely where it needs to be here and, and now bolt it down. And I'm not trying to, trying to fight with it. So uh, I'm gonna tell you, I think six jack stands are essential for this job. So I've got, I've got, you know, one on each corner uh, of the camper, and then I'm using these ones under the axle, and it really helps. And a, and a few blocks of wood to kind of um, support the, the piece while it's the axle it's on the ground and whatnot. So I'm gonna get these uh, fitted in place. And... Okay, I got it down off the jack stands. I got it uh, level. I got the obviously got the tires back on. 
And let's take our measurements. We went right behind this wheel before we started. And we were about 12 and a half, and now we are uh, shade over 15 and a quarter. So just like they say, uh, uh, two and five eighths inch gain in height. Uh, I think that the wheel wells still look appropriate. It doesn't look like it's uh, unusually tall for the wheel wells. Uh, I've already been back here in the galley. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm still hitting my head right in here, <laughs> but it's not as bad. Uh, the next thing if we if we chose to do is we could probably upgrade to a 15 inch wheel and go to a bigger tire. Uh, these are the 14 inch tire, they're the 205 75 R14s, and those have a diameter of 26.1 inches. If I went to a, a 15 inch tire, um, I could get up to uh, almost a 29 inch diameter tire and that would gain an inch and a half of height. So you got to divide it by half that diameter because you're only uh, talking the bottom half that will elevate in height. But uh, big difference. I think it, uh, I think it's changed the attitude of a little bit too. It sits a little taller. Uh, I can't tell you how thrilled we are with this little camper. And actually tomorrow we're going to see Todd and Carol at TC Teardrops. They're just up the road in Wausau actually where I work hour away and uh we're gonna talk with him about a few other changes we'd like to make and uh and gonna uh, go over that so i hope this is helpful if you're putting on one of these dexter axle lift kits uh i would say total probably for me amateur i'm definitely not a i'm pretty good at woodworking but not a straight up mechanic you know uh but i had most of the tools on in hand had to borrow the impact. But other than that, uh, I'd say two to three hour job, depending on uh, difficulties getting bolts and whatnot. Six jack stands, definitely. And then here's my other, the rest of the tools that I used. Foam butt pad definitely helped for my knees and my butt. Uh, three quarter inch socket on a half inch drive, a three quarter inch box end wrench, rubber mallet. Of course I got the flat four for wrenching down the lug bolts and uh and some jack stands and she's done so i hope this is helpful i hope i can do a few more other videos with this with this awesome teardrop and uh hope this helps you out